Welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about different types of web hosts. There are quite a few different types of web hosts, but for the scope of this tutorial, we'll be discussing the most common five types. Free hosting is a good choice when you want to make websites for fun. However, the services you get is fairly limited compared to paid hosting. Often in a free hosting environment, speed is slow, there is no guaranteed uptime, and there are advertisements added to your website. Some companies will offer you a free subdomain under them, while others may require you to have a domain already before you receive their services. In a shared hosting environment, you are sharing the server with other website owners. Shared hosting is recommended for new websites or beginners as it's the most economical. There are however downsides to shared hosting, because you are sharing hardware slash software and bandwidth of a server with other websites, the speed will be slower and at times unpredictable. VPS stands for Virtual Private Server. In a nutshell, VPS hosting is an advanced variation of shared hosting. Essentially, you still share a physical server with other websites, but that physical server is partitioned into multiple virtual servers that gets a reserved amount of CPU power and RAM. Unlike traditional shared hosting, VPS websites do not compete with each other. What that means is if there is a large amount of traffic going into a VPS website that shares the same physical server with you, your website will not be affected. In a dedicated hosting environment, you have the entire web server to yourself. You do not share with any other users. Dedicated servers are recommended if your website gets a lot of traffic, if your website is resource intensive, if you need better security, or if you simply want more options available to you. The downside of this option is the cost. Because the server cost is not shared between different website owners, you will be responsible for the cost of running the servers. Companies who provide managed WordPress hosting specialize in hosting WordPress websites. Their servers are configured and optimized to provide a top-notch environment for WordPress websites. Besides hosting, these companies bring to the table many benefits. Speed, security, uptime, updates, and employees who are extremely experienced and knowledgeable in dealing with WordPress websites, so if you do run into any trouble, you know you are in good hands. Managed WordPress hosting, however, can be the most expensive option, so it may not be for everyone. If you're someone that wants to build a website purely for fun and is not concerned about speed, downtime, advertisements, and the subdomain, then free hosting could work for you. Some examples of free hosting are AngelFire, Tripod, and Wix. If you are a website enthusiast, just delving into the world of WordPress, shared hosting will be a good introduction for you. Shared hosting is suitable for building personal websites, hobby sites, or perhaps traditional blogs. The cost will be minimal, but prepare for the occasional downtime or slow speeds. Some companies that offer shared hosting are A Small Orange, Dreamhost, GoDaddy, and HostGator. If you are a more advanced user, you have a consistent amount of traffic, and speed as well as reliability is important to you, then VPS hosting would be a good fit. VPS hosting is good for medium to high traffic websites, e-commerce sites, and websites that run resource-intensive scripts. If you are building a website for a client, consider VPS hosting a minimum requirement. Some companies that offer VPS hosting are a small orange, Dreamhost, and HostGator. If speed, reliability, uptime, and security are of the utmost importance to you, then you can't go wrong with managed WordPress hosting. Some examples of managed WordPress hosting are WP Engine, Pagely, Synthesis, and VPS.net. This wraps up the introduction. Next, we are going to register a domain.